basic t-shirts are a classic staple in a minimalist wardrobe and it's my favorite piece of clothing in my wardrobe. I actually wear them so often that it seems like it's the only thing that I have. But what if it is? And would that make for a boring wardrobe or boring outfits? Today I'll be sharing ways to style and rework t-shirts so they can get more wear and spark more creativity because t-shirts can be so underrated. Honestly, even if you do not intend to try any of these ways of styling and wearing a t-shirt, I'm just impressed at how these little tweaks can make an outfit look more polished and put together. Some even changing the look of the t-shirt altogether, giving your t-shirts new life. The fold and tuck. This method is basically a tucking your shirt method. Instead of just putting all the fabric of your t-shirt into your bottoms, grab sections of your t-shirt from each side and then have them meet in the middle before you tuck the shirt in. This method gives the shirt a little more texture and folds, creating some dimension and depth. The sleeve roll. Some t-shirts may have longer sleeves. This method shortens the sleeves and changes the look a bit. Some may even say that rolling the sleeves can make a t-shirt look more refined. As you roll your sleeves, roll them as many times as needed to create the look that you're looking for. The faux bow. At a glance, this looks like you just tied a bow with your t-shirt. But in reality, all you did was grab two sections of your shirt and tuck them into your belt loop. So all you have to do is just grab one end of your shirt And then you grab the other end, crisscrossing them as you put them into your belt loop. Adjust as necessary to make it look more flattering. This look looks great whether it's on a pair of jeans or a skirt. It might also be the perfect addition to any bottoms that do not come with a belt. The scrunchie or hair tie tuck. Take a hair tie and loop it around a section of your shirt. Tuck in the tied section underneath your t-shirt and then pair this with your favorite high-waisted bottoms. This can be a great way to create a crop top from a t-shirt. And if you were to wear a pair of pants or bottoms that did not have pockets on that day, it's a great way to secretly hide a hair tie. The classic knot. I used to think tying a knot with a t-shirt is like tying a normal knot. Apparently the right way is where you take one section of your t-shirt, twist, and then wrap the section around itself a few times to make a ball but also leaving enough of the excess at the end to create a pocket so that you can stuff the ball of fabric into. You can wear this knot in the middle or you can wear it to the side depending on your preference. I find that wearing a knotted t-shirt is great for outdoors or at the beach. If t-shirts taught me anything, it's that you don't need the most intricate design of clothing in order to have a diverse wardrobe. You don't need a large number of clothing in order to create multiple outfits. One shirt can create multiple looks. And if you agree or love t-shirts also, please like this video and I'll really appreciate it. 
at the end of the day, perhaps my favorite way to wear a t-shirt is just to wear the t-shirt. I mean, I just put it on and I guess when you're at home or working from home, if you don't want to do any styling, just wearing a t-shirt is the best way to go about it. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in another video with more of my thoughts on this journey to minimalism and slow living.